Yeah. That's good. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. So you move it up here. So my plan was um, to leave it there, but I'm thinking I'm going to need that one over here. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is that I want, well, that's true. I do need some place for them to sit. Yeah. I was hoping to put a table in here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Well, they could put it Yeah. 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 And then it took us five hours. I should tell Jeanette, yeah, five hours. <laughs> yeah. Two here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I could possibly change it like that, but then I'm thinking, well, I want to see out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like to see who's going by or. Yeah, no, I think I'm okay. Yeah, so I got to figure it out once um, they get we get this out. So, thanks. John Ashley.
David, you're jamming out, but we're not hearing your uh, audio. What? But you look like you're having fun. I am. There you are. Well, I'm sorry. I'll have to save that tune for tomorrow then. Darn technology. You all know the saying, right? Tech happens. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate y'all showing up for those of you that are on time today. We'll see how we go. My expectations are we're going from 10 to 11. 
always tend to roll over a little bit. I try to give time for questions at the end, um, but for the sake of all of your times, we will start on time. So a couple of housekeeping issues for all of you that I would ask, turn your cameras on. This is an engaging class. This is not a, I'm gonna do multiple 12, 15 different things. I know we're realtors. I know we only have a whole bunch of things going on, but in order to be here and get things out of this class, I need you to focus because I'm gonna, we're, this is gonna be a little bit different than what we've done in the past. This is gonna be more action. This is gonna be more workshop. There's gonna be things for you guys to do, right? And you're gonna need help. And what I can't do is stop for questions for things that we've covered because you were running around doing realtor things. And I understand. So I ask for your one hour of attendance and I see all those cameras coming on. So thank you very, very much. Two, I do ask that you keep yourself muted. Okay. I hear people, I hear kids, I've got kids. Some days are late for the bus. Sometimes they're not. Thank God they're back in school again. Right. Those of you that have been with me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. My kids love the bus in. I've had been doing calls with 700 people and my kids just climbing on me like I'm a jungle gym. That's the world we're in. It's completely acceptable. It's completely okay. If you got to disappear for a couple minutes, I understand. I do have a tendency to call on people. So please pay attention, right? Those of you that have been with my class, right, Teresa? I like to call on people and see if they're hanging with me, see if they got questions, right? My Mark Center Tech Trainers are going to be with us. They're in chat. They're going to answer questions. It's hard for me to kind of run this, lead this, and answer all the questions in chat. I do ask that you get comfortable with Zoom if you haven't already. I know it's been a year and a half, but for some, it's a new experience. Across the bottom of your screen, you'll see a chat. Throw questions in there. See what's going on. <coughs> the questions, right? And we will get those answered by my Market Center Tech Trainers. Uh, if you happen to unmute yourself, try to remember to mute yourself. I'll mute all if I have to at certain times. Also, uh, some things to know. We are recording, so this will be posted for you to view at a later date. It'll be on our regional YouTube channel. We'll talk about that in a bit. Across the bottom of your Zoom screen, there's a reactions button. Does everybody see that? Has anybody used reactions before? If you have, give me a thumbs up. Nice, Marcy. Well done. Give me some love. Give me some celebratory. Give me some hand claps. If you're driving like Kathy, don't run off the road and try to push buttons, right? We don't want anybody getting hurt, right? Some of you got it. Some of you don't. There's a reactions button on the bottom of your screen, right? Go ahead. There's thumbs up. There's hands clap. There's, there's tears. There's emojis. There's a whole bunch of things, right? As I need to step away for coffee, uh, use those. That's how I know that you're hearing things. All right. So thanks for for chiming in. We've got about 50 of us online right now. Uh, we had 155 registrants, which we always have attrition, but that's okay. But I'd love to see that there are 55 of you with me today. So with that said, who am I? My name is David Donaldson. I'm the regional technology trainer for the Virginia and West Virginia regions, the Virginias, if you might have us. Okay. I'm a licensed realtor and I have been since 2007. I've been with KW since 2009. Okay, in 2014, let me back up. In 2012, I moved from Arizona to Northern Virginia, or I should say back to the Virginias after a couple of uh, 14 years in Arizona. And in 2014, I was hired by an incubating market center called KW Falls Church. They were looking for somebody to teach and train on all things technology. And back then it was a little platform called eEdge. Uh, so I transferred uh, from Loudon Gateway to Falls Church and became uh, started my journey as an instructor. Um, I've had some life changes where instruction has become my priority. That's I still sell, but training the associates, the associates have become my consumers. You are you're my clients, and I say clients just because of the way that we engage and we and we you and work together. Not that I charge you for anything. So you get me for free. How awesome is that? And you also get. My team of market center tech trainers is about seven, 17 of us now across the region. Every market center should have one. Some market centers share one. Some market centers don't have one yet because they're in transition. So maybe you might find training, right, as a combination of real estate is something you're interested in. Reach out to me, reach out to your leadership after this course and command moves you and you're passionate about the things that we're doing that you may be of help to your market center. That might be something that you're able to do. KW Command, what is it and why? 
right? So as I mentioned, when I, back in 2010, right, even before I was an instructor, KW had a platform called eEdge. They were in business with a company called Market Leader. It was our first CRM tool that was built into the system and provided for our associates, okay? Sometime after that, I remember the exact year, eEdge, which was a partnership between KW and a company called Market Leader, okay? Market Leader, Leader was acquired by a company called Zillow. Some of you might have heard of them. Um, small little company that's, that's in our business. Um, so they bought the company that ran our database. So think about that for a minute. Now at the time, this harmless little company called Zillow um, wasn't interested in, in buying, selling, or investing in real estate. They were selling leads back to the agents. Later, we were partnering with a company called Dotloop. Dotloop was our digital library for products and writing contracts so we didn't have to do paper things. Some of you have been around a while, right? I, like I said, I've been licensed 14 years. Who remembers paper? Who remembers three ring binders? Who remembers things where there were actual green sheets and blue sheets where we had to run out and actually get signatures before digital world, right? That was a true thing. Sometimes you print, I get it. Um, but dot loop was a game changer for us. Again, a partnership, strategic partnership with KW. Dot loop was later acquired by a company called Zillow. You guessed it, Zillow. So that's, that's two companies that KW, okay, that back in 2014, we became the largest real estate company in the world, right? They were after us. They weren't just after us, they were after our data, right? Data matters. Data, data is a game changer, right? We all know about data. If you don't, you should, but you all have incredible value in the amount of data in your world through the contacts, consumers, and contracts that you all write. So somewhere around then, before then, because of these things, Gary changed. Gary shifted. Gary went on a crusade to better protect our associates. That's you, in case you were wondering. Okay. We started building our own platform. The days of partnership was changing. Interface integration, API, which means working with other companies on the back end, but a platform, a single unified system that was provided for our associates as part of your relationship with your market center evolved. It's called command. We've had our hands on it for a couple of years. This was meant to protect you, your database, your leads, your listings, protecting your consumers from that harvesting, big data collection that everybody's doing right now, trying to disrupt real estate. A lot of people didn't understand that. While a lot of people were concerned when Gary came out and said, we're a tech company. What does that mean? We're a real estate firm, but we are a tech forward company. You guys are at the center of the transaction, but you have technological leverage at your disposal. You're tech enabled. Okay. That's what command allows you to have in your world. Now, it was a bumpy ride. And there are still days that you're going to find that sometimes you just need to step away. We were working in a live beta environment once we launched command because we were pushing things out at a rapid pace. And there was a learning curve, there was a growth curve, and there was a lot of pain involved. Don't hide from that. I didn't write the platform, but I'm at the, the pivot point. I'm at the tip of the spear for our region of, of hearing and dealing and training and educating our associates around command, okay? And I get it. And I understand the frustration that you may have heard, utilized, or may learn about in the future. We're not there anymore. Command works well. Command works incredibly well. And command is still developing. Built by agents, built for agents. That means something. We're no longer at the mercy of partnering with other companies, although we have some strategic relationships and some avenues of the platform. KW has talked to our agents. They listen to our agents. Our agents engage in labs. Our engagements, our agents provide feedback. Our agents provide ideas. Our leadership teams add information and feedback to how we implement, roll out, change, and utilize our platform. And it happens at a rapid pace. So much so that Command actually gets live updates daily, weekly, monthly. Some of them you notice, some of them you don't, and some of them create issues, right? Because when you release things, you break things. Now, no matter how well we can test them on the back end, sometimes you're going to see that. The challenge is how do we react? 
we just came out, Chris Cox and Chris Lieber put us on a holding pattern right leading up to mega camp, which we call the 66 day stability challenge. That meant we were focused on fixing the things that were kind of hanging out there. They did an amazing job. Command's working great ever since we did that. And we are now going back into live release mode. Every week we get new updates. You'll see them from your Mark Center Tech Trainer, MCTT. You'll see them from me, the Regional Tech Trainer. We post them, we talk to them, we coach to them. You'll see them on our YouTube channels. You'll see them in your office. You'll see them at your team rallies. It's exciting. And if you're not sure again still what command is yet, I want you to think of it this way. Who has a cell phone? Everybody raise their hands in chat. I don't wanna see real hands. Nah, I, I, I want reactions. Raise your hands on the screen. Who's got a cell phone, right? Y'all have cell phones. And y'all learned how to use your cell phone by going to cell phone class, right? No, you guys didn't go to cell phone class? Maybe some of you have, right? You learned it by doing, you learned it by pushing buttons, you learned it by downloading apps. A lot, a lot of those apps sometimes say they're accessing all kinds of data on your back end, right? They want access to your pictures, your location, your contacts. Scary world we live in, that big data. Well, the command data is yours. It's always yours. KW doesn't sell it. They don't harvest it. They don't give it away. It's yours. If you ever need to export it, relieve it, update it, do whatever you need to do, it's yours. So just remember, we're there for you. So I thought it was important when I lead off these sessions that people understand the journey and why and where we came from. Because there are some days when we break things, you're gonna be like, why didn't they just buy something off the shelf? Because we're looking out for you. So if you keep that in mind, and you go get a glass of water every now and then, or you just step away from the platform. And remember that sometimes when technology goes down and tech happens, right? It's not always command. It might be Facebook. It may be Amazon World Services. It might be Google. They run a lot of things that how we live in our digital world. And if you live in Aspirin like I do, you know that all these big blocks around here aren't Walmart and big superstores anymore. They're all data centers, right? That's where everything's spinning around and going around at a million miles an hour. So with that being said, welcome to command. Jumpstart into command. And every day for this week, Monday through Thursday, and then next week, Monday through Thursday, 10 to 11, we're going to go through and we're going to show you how to use things. I'm going to try to keep it simple. I'm going to ask you to do things because you learn by doing. You're going to meet with your market center tech trainers in your market center after you take these classes. And maybe it's every Friday at the end of the week, or maybe it's after that, but they're going to reaffirm that you've loaded and are utilizing this system of ours in your business. Because the more you move, utilize command in your day-to-day, -day, the faster, I assure you, the faster you will build your business. Some of you are new, some of you are existing, some of you have been with us for a while. Embrace the system. Learn the system. Just like it's your cell phone. Don't be scared of it. If I had a dollar for every, every time somebody said, I'm going to be your worst technological student, I wouldn't have to teach this anymore. Limiting beliefs, right? It's a block. It's not technology, and I don't want you to think of it that way. I want you to think of it as leverage in building your business. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna share my screen with you all. Talk about some things that you all need to know about inside of command. The first thing that I want you to do, I want you to all get your phones out. And this class is being recorded, as I mentioned. Okay, went through the big why. What I want you to do is I'm going to go to your phone. And for those of you who may have this already, but I want you to go to your store, whether it's Apple or Google Play, and I want you to search for your KW Realty app. And I want you to download it. Okay, I want you to download the app. I want you to log in. I want you to create a user ID and password. As a realtor, it doesn't know who you are. This is a consumer-driven device. Okay, so think of yourself as a consumer and don't use your KW email address, use something else. Okay, I, have, I register as my son, Connor. Um, so I go ahead and play around with him. So I want you to download the app. I want you to create an account for yourself. And I want you to go and start utilizing this, not in class today, but get comfortable with it. 
because this is the device, this is the tool that you're going to get in the hands of your consumers that they're going to be able to work with you and shop and look at properties and heart properties and like properties. We'll get into more depth on consumer next Monday when we take a deep dive in that. But because mobile app is the number one way that people search for real estate now, I think it's the most important place to start for you guys to go ahead and download that. So I see all your hands are raised and I don't assume you all still have questions. But actually, right all now, if you've all gone in and downloaded the mobile app, do me a favor and give me the celebratory cone reaction so that I can change away from all these hands raised. Thank you, Bonita. Thank you, Di. Amy, Shelly, Eva, Stephanie. Awesome. The only way to learn the technology that we have is by doing and, and not be afraid. Awesome. So that first app activity is really, really important. And you guys are going to start utilizing that on a regular basis. And that'll be part of your homework today when we talk about that. At the tip off, I talked about who's in your market center. You know, I am at the regional level. My email address, if you need it, is David Donaldson at kw.com. Okay. But here's what I'm going to ask of you because there are 4,400 agents in the, re in the region, and it's hard for me to respond back. So I'm gonna ask, before you email me, talk to your market center tech trainer. So on the screen, does everybody see my screen here? Make sure I've got this up and going. I get a thumbs up, y'all seeing the screen? I see y'all fell into the trap, because I went like this, so y'all didn't hit the thumbs up. Ah, oh, Brooke caught on, she did the thumb up first, and then she put it on the screen, right? These are your regional tech, or your Mark Center tech trainers. They're your go-to, they're your, your boots on the ground. They're your local advocate. And like I said, almost every market center has one. If not, then you know, talk to your TL or your PC coach, right? Because they all know command very, very well. Right? That's your first place to go to for help. If you can't get what you're looking for from them, by all means, reach out to me and have patience. Because I may not get back to you right away, but I will get back to you. Okay, but do make note of who your person is because we all need a person in our lives and that person is your market center tech trainer. All right, so we, first activity was done. You all downloaded the mobile app. So great job. Way to start. See, technology is not painful, right? It's easy. This is an easy thing. All right, we're going to talk about a couple of platforms inside of the system. And one of those is our old platform. I talked about in the beginning, eEdge. Now look, I know you guys are looking at me and you also got things up. So it's okay if you minimize me and you don't see me, but you hear my voice because I want you to be walking through and doing some things, okay? If you go to mykw.kw.com, that's our old eEdge platform that we're slowly migrating away from piece by piece as we transition everything into command. But there's still some important things that you need to do on that page. Okay, so on that page, and I don't know what is going on here. So when I have multiple screens, I sometimes make mistakes. That's okay. There we go. Everybody see this page? MyKW.KW.com. If you have it up on your screen and in your account, that's okay. All right. There's a profile button here. All right. What I want you guys to do real quick is click on that profile button. And you're going to see your page on the upper left hand side you'll see your picture if you loaded a picture if not right below that it's going to say upload a picture if you're new to the business talk to your leadership you got to have a picture now look i'm not going to tell you to put it on business cards because i don't but there is a likeness people are going to research you online people need to know what you look like so you do need a professional headshot no look don't take this the wrong way because there are some of us out there that are still using things are or, or glamour shots from the 1980s right you should see Jerry's. He's got a whole head of hair. He's got his collar up, right? He's got his OPT shirt on. Some of you know what I'm talking about, but we need to have an updated photograph. So get recent photographs, get professional headshots in your world and utilize that. And just take a quick 
minute here, scroll down this page, add your information here, contact, email, office address. Don't put your personal address in anything. Even if you work from home more times than not like you do now, always put in your business, your market center address. The last thing you want is a consumer actually accidentally getting a hold of your home address because you put it as your business address and they show up your house to come see you accidentally. Those things can happen. So always put your home address, or nah, say I slipped, your market center address as any address you have online. There's a bio here. We're gonna talk more and more about bios. You gotta have one, right? There are three types of bios you're gonna have in your world. It's long form, right? There's a one paragraph, and then there's the ones that we use for mobile apps like Twitter, right? Where you're able to summarize your entire existence down into four words or 165 characters. Dad, golf, realtor, trainer, hockey, right? That's, my, that's me in five words, right? Kind of crazy that we're able to do that, but we're used to doing that now. What I recommend and I coach you guys to do is write a long form, right? Because you're going to have web pages to use where you can put in a big story about you, right? If you're new to, K to KW or if you're new to real estate, don't get tripped up on the points that you have to feel like you need to talk about performance. Bios are about connection. They're about establishing a relationship. Where did you work before? Where did you come from? What are your passions? What are your hobbies? What are you involved in? You're in the PTA? Do you charity work? Did you live in Arizona? Did you live in Philadelphia? Did you go to college out near Pittsburgh? Are you an Eagles fan? They won yesterday in case you were wondering. Thanks for asking, right? Those things people care about and transactional information to be braggadocious about yourself, right? How many transactions did I do this year? How many closings did I do? They'll come over time. Here's a great equalizer about real estate. Every single person in real estate that you look up to in your market center or around you started the exact same place you did. That's with zero transactions. So it's a limiting belief to people that they can't talk about themselves because they feel like people are going to know that they don't know anything. The moment you got real, your license, the funny thing is people think you know everything. So be that valuable resource to them and educate yourself on what's going on in the world. If you believe it, they'll believe it. And if you know where to get help, whether it's technology-based, broker-based, license-based, there are people in your market center to support you. So don't ever be afraid to say, I don't know, and get the answer. And don't hide behind the lack of transparency in getting yourself out there because you need to take advantage of that. So filling out this is step one. Fill it out as best as you can. If you have questions after this class, check in with your market center tech trainer. Check in with your leadership. They know all these things that are there for you. They're going to make sure that you get it done. So hopefully while I was talking, I was giving you time to fill out this page. All right. Now, technology is a button at the top of your MyKW console. You're not going to need to log in here. And honestly, I log in here only when I'm going to training. But when you're a new agent, you got to fill out your profile. And the other thing is you should have an email. You should all at this point have a KW email. Now emails are important, very important. And branding is important, okay? Your KW emails should be your name at kw.com. And if you're not sure if you have one, you can go right to KW email, click on it. Oh, that wasn't where I was going. and manage your KW email or sign up if you don't have one, okay? See mine is David Donaldson at kw.com as I already shared with you. I do recommend you use your name. Don't be number one realtor at kw.com. Be who you are. Brand yourself professionally. Use your name, okay? Now, again, let me see another show of hands. Who has a Gmail account that they use in their business if you've been in business for a little while? Your realtor at gmail.com. Anybody? Don't take this the wrong way. I don't want you to use that anymore. It's not professional. At gmail.com is a free service. At hotmail.com is a free service. At AOL, God forbid any of you are still utilizing that, was a free service. Okay? I want you to remember you, vol you volunteer. You became a business professional when you got your license. You're building your business. At kw.com tells a story. Tells them who you're with. Right? KW.com is a website. At Gmail 
It's not to a degree. Tell them who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Your email is a marketing tool that allows you to do that. So free mail, bad. KW email, good. Customized, professional business email, best, right? New email, new agents, use kw.com. When you build your business, okay, and you get licensed, and you start marketing yourself, you can get a vanity domain. You can build a business if that business is on your DBA. Revolution Real Estate Group, okay? It's a licensed entity that's attached to my license. Talk to your broker about marketing yourself accordingly. You can't all of a sudden become the Harris Real Estate Group. In your mind you can be, but you can't market yourself that way unless it's on your license. When you go out and buy a domain for Harris Real Estate Group, okay, you can do that. We can't stop you, but if you market yourself that way, you can get in trouble. But if you do it the light way, and you add it to your license, you can then get a Google business account, which costs you like $10 a month, and you could be Roxanne at Harris Real Estate Group. And that's another great email that you can use that markets who you are because Harris Real Estate Group is going to be a website that goes back to your business. So always be thinking about how you present yourself and how you come across in the general public. And that's a homework assignment for you. Go buy your domain name. Now, like I said, if you are a solo agent, you cannot market yourself anything other than who you are. So go buy daviddonaldson.com, essentially your name.com, right? Or your name realtor.com. Now, if you have a common name like David Donaldson, it might be taken. So daviddonaldson.net it is. No worries. I prefer .com, but that's what I got, okay? That's part of your homework today. Go buy your personal domain. And remember, because I've got brokers on here and this is recorded, you can't use anything other than your name unless that entity is an LLC, it's approved by your office, it's approved by your broker, and it's sent to Richmond as part of your license. Can I get a thumbs up from my brokers that I got my disclosure in there and we're good? I'm always about CYA, mine and yours. All right, so that's really about as far as I'm gonna take you into the edge. Some of your market, or uh, I'm sorry, my KW, some of your market centers will still put some trainings in here. At the bottom of the page, you'll see an intranet. Some of the market centers do still do utilize that. If you do, your market center will tell you when they do their office orientation with you, okay? But I think that's important to know that that's available to you. Next page. All right, now I'm gonna give you a couple of things that I want you. Now, after this class, I'm gonna send a follow-up to you guys. There's gonna be some links I'm gonna provide for you. You may write them down quick, you may have them, okay? I want you to bookmark these, right? I want you to bookmark your email. That's your Gmail access. So basically, like I said, that KW email is Gmail. So bookmark Gmail. So when you log in every day, that's what opens up in a tab. I want you to bookmark agent.kw.com. I want you to bookmark answers.kw.com. I want you to bookmark kwconnect.com, okay? And if you want to do it now, that's okay. I'll give you two minutes to do it. Put these in, right? Does anybody know how to bookmark? Okay, inside of Chrome, okay? There are three dots on the upper right-hand side. If you click a dot, the three dots, and let me bring up this real quick. There you go. Everybody seeing my page, right? So I mentioned Chrome. You all need to use Chrome. Don't use Safari. It doesn't work well with our platforms. Sorry, Apple people. Use Chrome. That's the world we live in. Okay? That's just where it's at. Firefox, sometimes I'm okay with that, Mozilla, but I will always default to Chrome. Now, on the upper right hand side of Chrome, you've got three dots. You click that three dots, there's bookmarks. You can bookmark this tab, okay? Or you can bookmark and add into a folder. Or if you're like me and you want to see them every time you log in, you can actually go to settings inside of Chrome, scroll down to on startup, open a specific set of pages. So what you see here are websites that, that open up every single time I log into command or log into my computer, my email opens up, command opens up, Uh, MLS opens up, okay, answers.com, kw.com opens up, 
couple other things that I use for day-to-day -day use from training open up, but they open up all the way across the top of my bar. Tab, 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 tab. So I never have to log in. I never have to go looking for them. And I actually prefer it. So I see I have bookmarks here, which are my secondaries. That's what bookmarks come here. Settings open up in tab live. So you can't go wrong. Play with it, bookmark it, or set your settings to open up a specific set of pages. All right. Things I'm giving you to start today in our orientation class are best practices. If you're organized from jump, doing everything else that we build upon it becomes much, much easier in your world. Now, for some of you, you get this. Some of you, this may sound like sci-fi. Okay, I understand. I get that. Trust me. We got you back. All right. Now, the next page that I'm opening up is kwconnect.com. kwconnect.com. I want you all to go ahead and, and log in there. Minimize me. Log in to kwconnect.com. And this is a platform, again, another one we are slowly migrating from and bringing everything into our command world, but it still is best to have this one flagged on its surface. kwconnect.com is essentially YouTube, okay, for KW agents. Videos, documents, sharing, live training, all in KW's ecosystem. So someplace that you should get used to going to regularly is kwconnect.com. And by regular, I mean daily or time block your week, Sundays, right? So what I like to do is on Sundays, I'll come in here and you'll see underneath resources, this first tab, something else to bookmark now once you click on this, connect live calendar, okay? While I do trainings every day on the regional level, KWRI does trainings every day from Austin, okay? Sometimes there's two or three a day. What you should do is either at the end of the business on Friday or sometime on Sunday as you're working on your calendar for the week, see what trainings are coming up and bookmark the time. Now notice the time, it's KW time. KW time is always central time. So that's one hour difference from us. So if it's one o'clock here, it's 12 o'clock central time. We're always off one hour. So be conscious of the time. But if you click on any one of these classes, like today they're talking about expansion, tomorrow they're talking about referrals, right? They're talking about stay in touch, some follow up mega camps using referrals. And you register, you can register for the class, so it'll time block it for you in your calendar and you can attend those. And if you happen to miss a class you want to go to, we've got Command Live on Demand. It's so usually within 72 hours, you can go back here and rewatch the class. So bookmark, connect live calendar, and get in the habit of checking it every Sunday and at the end of every business day to see what's going on the next day. Of course, after you've gotten through all of my trainings, don't, don't disregard me for KWRI trainings. Okay. And then time block accordingly. And then when it comes to things in your business, whether it's an appointment or something else that comes up, ask yourself, can that wait an hour? Does it have to happen at the time that this class is going on? Because you felt it important enough to put that on your calendar. Should you replace it with something else? Only you can answer that. If you're not sure, you don't trust yourself, then your PC coach. They're helping you build your businesses. Talk to your team leader, ATL, whoever is working with you in your market center. They'll give you clarity about what you should be at. Don't become a full-time student. Your number one job is lead generation. Right, Teresa? Lead generation is your number one job priority. We talk a lot about that. But training when you're new is important too. And having that balance in your world. Okay. Another resource that's important for you to know is there's this welcome new associates tab. Now look, over the next two weeks, we're gonna go over a whole lot of things, okay? But also if you come in here, some of you like to work really, really fast. I'm okay. You can go through here and see what else you should be doing or what do you need to know. There's all kinds of hyperlinks in here that will redirect you around the platform and reaffirm the things that I'm talking to you in our classes, all right? So welcome new associates. Underneath resources, something else, you should bookmark, right? Bookmark that page, right? Right-click, bookmarks, bookmark this tab. 
and then it'll drop it right in this bar for you or you build a folder like I have a folder over here you could have all KW docs or all KW links it's organizing right it's a file drawer but it's on your home screen all right underneath resources okay there's a lot of other things next to it sorry is technology command your business let me go back to that command your business Now, my classes are one hour long, and we cover one applet, and you're gonna do some fundamental stuff each day. Today's more lecture because it's orientation, but each day you'll be doing things, adding contacts, building tags, sent, creating opportunities, building your web page, right? Landing pages, sharing your mobile app. Those are all gonna happen for you. But in here, sometimes you guys like to slow it down even more. So if you come on into Command Your Business, again, bookmark this page okay and you'll see recommended training underneath here great kw instructors and trainers have put together and built videos that are usually less than 10 minutes in length right they're more specific more hyper local about the little things that are going on that at the micro level in over an hour's time i can't dive into every little piece some of you need that bookmark this work your way through it in sequence with what we're doing tomorrow we're going to talk about contacts right command your database is all about contacts and smart plans which is our classes for the next two days you can take those classes with me reaffirm, reaffirm those here on the back end and watch those little pieces come and it'll all come together for you okay that's really really important so this is those are the big things that i want to point out on kwconnect.com for you to have access to and get in the habit of checking it, like I said, at the end of every day and every Sunday as you structure your week, right? Structure is important, right? Using your calendar is important. Holding yourself accountable to your calendar, incredibly important. If you run your business on the fly, you're always gonna be stressed and burn out and don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. Structure your day. Be organized, set your big rocks, reshuffle the to-dos every day and get things done each day that will move you and your business forward. Education is a part of that. Lead generation is the most important part of that. And don't become a full-time student just trying to learn everything. Throw yourself into the fire. That's okay. And that's what your broker's there for. They're, they're there to bail you out. I know my brokers all appreciate that. Fake it till you make it, I say. And I could say that because I'm not a broker. That's a deliberate decision. All right, next. We covered Gmail, agent, uh, answers.kw.com is the next one, okay? This one is probably the most important thing that you will take away from today is answers.kw.com. Log in. This, if kwconnect.com was YouTube, Answers.kw.com is Google. It is Google for all things KW technology, systems, service, tools to search by. And there's some quick hits right on the cover. You see, look, there's command. If I click on command, command is broken down by applet. And we talked about command being a platform like your cell phone. And once you get into command, we'll walk you through the applets, but they're all in there. Set up. Contacts is an applet. Consumer is an applet. Opportunities is an applet. Task managers, designs, referrals, campaigns, smart plans, reports, listings. Okay, they all have a header in here and they're all broken down by the most important topics or subjects that people search by. Okay, you can search by those things in here or if you just go into the top to the search queue and just say, I need to learn about my website. You can search for any topic you want. It's going to bring up articles to help you. Articles will tell you, hey, this is a leadership, not necessarily agent-driven, or this is for a team, or a rainmaker, or solo agents. They try to define that with a quick synopsis. You can go in here, click on anything you want. One I always like to show, besides websites, is actually DocuSign. As you guys start to write contracts for DocuSign in your business, right? You can go to DocuSign. And it tells you all these quick help articles of how to run DocuSign in your business. And if you follow any one of these things, 
if there's a change, it'll update you. Say, hey, there's a new update to this article. You see, this one was updated seven months ago. We've got a team at KWRI headed by Bryson and Paul who are, write articles every day. And as we release new things to KW, they update past articles and they release new articles. So this is always up to date. Whenever we make a new release each week, there's an article supporting how to do it. Because sometimes you guys learn by walking through fact pages, right? Versus watching video. We understand that everybody learns a little bit differently. So we communicate across all channels so you guys can adapt the way that you need to adapt to your business. So answers.kw.com is your friend. You should always, always, always go there first. If you're not sure how to do something, go to answers.kw.com. If something's not working the way you think you need it to, go to answers.kw.com. And then if you can't find the answer on answers.kw.com, contact your market center tech trader, okay? Because here's the other things that do happen occasionally. On the top, you're gonna to see this submit a request button. It's important to know that this is there. Because sometimes, command's not gonna do what you want it to do. And there are three reasons for that, okay? Three reasons. And I'm gonna make myself a little bigger here. There are three reasons why KW won't do something that you want it to do. First, you might not know exactly what you're doing yet. And I'm gonna tell you that's over 80% of the issues that we have are training related. You have yet to learn how to do what you needed to do. Have you come to training? Have you talked to your market center tech trainer? Have you researched it on answers.kw.com? That usually fills in the gaps for a lot of people. Two, you might be looking for command to do something that it doesn't do yet. That's achievement, right? So that's training, that's knowledge. Your market center tech trainer can help you identify, are you having an issue because you need training? Are you having an issue because it doesn't do what you're trying to make it to do? That's okay, we'll steer you in the right direction. And we have systems or workarounds, which I'm not a fan of that word, but workarounds of how to try to maybe to get it to do what you want it to do. Because I told her at the beginning, we're always launching new things inside of KW. We've got a roadmap that is a year, year long, okay? KWConnect.com was that YouTube version of Keller Williams. but. Our roadmap is long and they, I can tell you every Monday, Chris, Gary, Jason, they look at a thing called ideas.kw.com. Okay. Somebody write ideas.kw.com into chat for me. That's where you, the associates can actually go in and vote up ideas or make recommendations. And Gary, Jason, Chris, look at your feedback. They want to know where's the itch? What are the agents looking at? What do the agents need? How are they utilizing things now that they would like it to do differently? What other platforms have they used that we're not completely there yet on some of our development? They look at those things. That's really important, okay? So I told you there are three things that buckets that these fall into. Training, feature requests, and third is there's actually an issue. Sometimes command goes down. Sometimes it's isolated to a region or even an agent, right? Because tech happens. Sometimes it's a global thing. Sometimes it's outside of our ecosystem. AWS goes down, Google goes down, Facebook goes down, right? And I can tell you from experience, the rule of thumb by most agents is blame command. Sometimes it's command, sometimes it's not. We help give you clarity. If you're having an issue with something, reach out to your market center tech trainer. They'll give you clarity. Yes, this is a known issue. No, you're having a problem and you need to submit a request, right? I talked about submitting a request here. Right? Click on submit a request and you give it details. Your market center tech trainer will walk you through this. I don't want you to have to do this the first time or second time or third time by yourself, unless you feel like you're comfortable with it or you need help. And I wasn't sharing that, so you guys missed it. So let me go back to that, sorry. Sorry. So on answers.kw.com is submit a request. I'm filling the information here and it'll have drop down and top topics and it's got a search bot. So like if you put something in, they're going to respond back with an automated email said, have you tried this, this or this? It's okay. They're trying to help. Your marks center tech trade will walk you through this. And here's what I'm going to say. 
most agents can't describe or don't take the time to describe well enough the challenge. It's broke. And then they hit send. Right. They're not going to be able to help you. And they're going to ask a lot of questions. And you're going to get frustrated. If you check me in the market center, tech center, they know what questions to ask you to help identify the issue and report the issue properly. And they're going to do, and you could also download, go to this website and utilize this tool, loom.com. Somebody put this in chat, please. Loom, L-O-O-M.com. Loom is free. Loom is a screen capture software. So when you're doing things and you're having a challenge with things, your Mark Center tech trainer may ask you to send them a loom. Looms are better than pictures or screenshots because we can actually see what you're doing. And you're talking to us and saying, I'm clicking this, I'm doing this, I'm going here, and it's not working. Or there's an error on the screen. When you just send a screenshot of an error, we don't know how you got there, what generated it, what your strokes were getting there. That helps support, that helps KWRI, that helps us identify what's going on. So that's a great friend and resource to you in your business. And a lot of the training snippets that I do when I kick them out daily, I just create a Loom video. So it's a great tool for you to utilize in your business. But submit a request as a friend of yours. Always reach out to your Mark Center Tech Trainer first, and then you'll get comfortable with how to utilize that platform. All right. We covered answers.k.com. A couple of other links that I want you guys to have and bookmark. And if one of my esteemed Mark Center Tech Trainers could throw this in the chat, I would appreciate it. Okay. So put the link for our regional YouTube page. You guys could all give that a follow. Okay. It's going to happen after I record all these classes each day, usually by the next day. I post them to the regional YouTube channel so you can go back and watch them. Give us a follow. Every time we post a new training, you'll get notified that there's a new YouTube, <laughs> new video. Sorry, boy, I broke out there. Secondly, we have a regional Facebook page. Give us a follow. That's a great place to go first. If you can't reach anybody in your market center, your market center tech trainers, we monitor that as a region. Myself, my market center tech trainers, if you come there with a question, we are on to answer it for you. Not always instantly, but we'll get there a lot quicker sometimes than even email itself if you email one of us, right? So go to the Facebook group. Again, somebody just put this in chat. And it's gonna ask you for a couple of questions. And here's what I do ask. Please tell me who you are, what Mark Center you're with, right? Who, that's how I can kind of authenticate that just KW people in the room. That's what that's all about. Lastly, every single one of your market centers has a relationship with a company called Scott Lowry Marketing, okay? The person that's going to work with you as you set up a lot of the things or may have already set up, sends a questionnaire, work, walks you through a questionnaire through Scott Leroy Marketing. They'll upload your contacts. They'll upload your headshot. They have great training videos. It's a great another resource for you guys to have access to. And like, so your market center is already in business with them. So something for you to bookmark and check right there. ScottLeroyMarketing.com. There's a login page and your login is, oh, is your market center number, okay? So whatever your market center number is, and if you're not sure what it is, right? I had that on that first screen, mine's 949, right? But whatever your market center number is, that way you can register and get access to all the training videos. Just another fantastic bookmarkable, okay? Website for you to utilize in your business. Did everybody get those? Can I get a thumbs up? How are we doing? Everybody okay? Fantabulous. All right, we're gonna to go to KW Connects. I want you all to log in to agent, okay? I'll bring it back here, so on my first page. Agent.kw.com. That's how you log in the command. Agent.kw.com. It'll bring into your login screen. You'll need your user ID and password, okay, to log in. You guys all received one. You can reset it. You can click forgot at the bottom of that page, okay? That user ID and password will get you in to command. That'll get you into all your KW systems, okay? It doesn't access your email. Your email is different because it's through Gmail, but that will be set up. So you have, that's a one different password that you'll have. Now, each day we're going to walk through this. But here's a couple of things that I want you guys to do as we start to wrap up today is get comfortable with this. Okay. At the top of the page, there's settings. Now, once you've had your 
KW email set up, and you can do this right now if you're following along and you're doing this workshop style. I want you to come down to where it says Gmail, and I want you to click Connect Account. And what it's going to ask you to do is log into your Gmail. Right now, if you're an Outlook user, you can connect to your Outlook account. That's fine. But we give you a KW Gmail account, right? your name at kw.com. And I want you to sync that. And the reason this is important, okay, is because when we get into contacts and we start talking about things more tomorrow, your email, when you send email to your consumers, it tracks it for you. It'll log those email communications to the contact record that consumers in your database, right? And they will be in your database because you're going to put them there. Right, we're gonna do that together, right? Or if you're already there, but when you email people with the connected email, it doesn't have to be your KW email. As I mentioned, I have David at revolutionary.net. That's my business email that I use for consumers, right? Or if you have an Outlook account, or if you still didn't believe me and you're still using your number one realtor at Gmail account, you can connect any of those, but only one, only one will sync at this time. But whatever one you use for your day-to-day -day business should be connected here, right? And if you're an Outlook user like Jerry, you connect your Outlook account. That's okay too. We don't judge. Well, maybe just a little bit. There's a lot of other things on this page. I'm not going to walk you through it all right now because each day we're going to cover some of these that apply to the Applet trainings that we're doing. But I'm going to point out the important ones for each day and we're going to keep adding things in your settings in your background. Does that sound good for everybody? Did everybody go in and sync up their Gmail account? Thumbs up. Awesome. Joe, Tarwin, Ita. Thank you. Crystal, good job. All right, now, also at the top here, under settings, on the left-hand side, there is connect settings. Does everybody see this? And if you're following along at home, it's settings. Off to the left, connect settings. Marketing profile, go ahead and click that. This is your marketing profile, okay? KW has two profiles. There's a consumer facing profile, which is your marketing profile. And there is a profile which you see here, don't get confused, which is your referral based platform. We'll come back to that when we go over referrals. This is agent, this profile button under your name here is agent to agent facing. This marketing profile is consumer facing. Okay, there's a deliberate purpose as to why we have two, and we will get into more of each of those when we cover them. Part of your homework for tonight, if it's not already done, and I assure you it's probably, if it's started, it's not complete, is to walk through here right now, or after class, and fill all this information in. Name, email address, okay? Your real estate, your realtor, your real estate consultant, uh, any additional credentials that you have, okay? Maybe you have an MBA, you're, maybe you're a doctorate, Add that, brag about that stuff. You paid for it, get it on there. Now, I have a degree in mixology. It's not necessary that I put under my designation, but you know, it's fun to have. So think about your advanced degrees because there's another way for people to identify with you. Something that's really new that I, I can't love enough. And obviously we had an important day this weekend for September 11th. Um, our military affiliations. Uh, I have a lot of friends and family that are in the service, that are in the military, that are firefighters, EMTs, um, and they're all important, and I respect all of them. And the military spouse is equally important, right? Maybe your significant other is in the service, but you are too. So identify who you are. Right now, this will be on your page and nobody else will see it yet, but very soon what it's gonna do, it's gonna plug into our referral platform and you're gonna be able to research other agents inside of the KW ecosystem that you might wanna establish a relationship with. Military, PCS happens all the time and agents have agent to agent referral base because people move all around the world. So having this on your platform is of value too. It also will eventually attach to your profile so the general public can see your service. I think it's important to know. I know we don't like to brag about it, but there's a connection there amongst service people and it can help your business. And I do believe that's okay. So it's something I struggled with for a long time because I was in the reserves. I did not serve during time of war. I was in between and it's something 
that somebody just kind of grabbed me one time and said, look, you volunteered. You went in, you did, you just didn't get called because I was in between the two golf clubs. And so it's something I can do. So they're right. It's something I should be proud of that I did. Um, and it just wasn't at a time of need. Um, so, so own that. It's okay. Uh, your bio. We talked about a bio. Write your bio. Take time to write your bio. Put that in the system. Contact information. Market Center logos. Your Market Center has your logos. They will help you get those. You should upload your market. You should have multiple versions of your logos. EPS, PNG, JPEG. Uh, JPEG and PNG are the ones where you, you will use the most. We'll talk more about those. JPEG basically has a white box around your logo. PNG means it's transparent. We'll talk more about that when we get into designs, uh, but that's the difference between the two. You don't need any compliance. Oh, I'm sorry. Outside of compliance, each office is independently owned and operated. That's what this should say right here. So just type that in. Anytime you have a compliance notification, Facebook, websites, each office, business cards, each office is independently owned and operated. You guys need to know that. There's no legal footer links. Social media. You guys will all have or should all have Facebook business pages at this point. If you haven't, talk to your market center, tech trainer about building one. You need one in your world. Some of you use Twitter. Some of you use Instagram. Some of you use LinkedIn. You can attach your social media links here. Now, if you don't use those platforms or if they're incomplete, don't share them because there's nothing worse than going to a blank page where there's no headshot or contact information. It makes you look unprofessional. So don't put these things out there until you're ready for the world to see them. Makes sense, right? So build a Facebook business page. That should be the first thing that you have. Okay. And if you utilize Facebook Pixel ads or Google Analytics, I'm going to make it this simple for you. If you know what I'm talking about, you're going to add these things in there. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, I don't want you to have to worry about it. It's for tracking of websites and activities. Okay. So those that know, you know who I am. If you don't know, over time, we'll get you there. Don't worry about it right now. But I do want you guys to work on this as part of your homework for tonight because as we build each applet and you start utilizing things, you start sending emails and sending people up on safe searches and smart plans, you're going to want your marketing profile complete. So knowing how to get in here and do this should happen today. Can I get you all to say yes, you'll do that? Give me a heads up, thumbs up, raise hand, question, celebratory hearts, all those reactions. Let me see them across the screen. Awesome. What's next? Look at that. Two minutes left in class. Okay. Finish those profiles. That's important. That has to happen today. I want you to start thinking about tags because when we start building contacts and establishing relationships with people, your tags are personal to you. You might hear the word. Anybody heard the word forward? Anybody know what that means? I happen to have it on the screen in case you don't know. Family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. What are those in your world? I'll give you some examples for me. I'm a hockey dad. So I have people tagged in my database by Ashburn Hockey. I have people tagged by JHS, which was Jenkintown High School. That's where I went to high school. I have people JHS 90, which is my graduating class. Yes, I graduated in 1990 and a lot of you weren't born yet. That's the world I have to deal with. I've come to grips with it. It's okay. All right. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from Jenkintown. I lived in Arizona. Those are all tags, okay? I have people that are in Little League and basketball and soccer and PTO and church. Those are all the different categories and they fall into buckets that are personal to me. And when you start adding people to your database, that's your world. So what I want you to do today is take a piece of paper and write them all down, okay? Because tomorrow we're going to input them into your system. You're going to build these on your own, okay? Church, Little League, soccer, whatever it is. Places, previous places of employment. Okay, I've always instinctively and organically stayed in touch with people I used to work with. I always have. I wasn't a Buffini person. Some of you know what I'm talking about. It's just another way, A's, B's, and C's, right? Of organizing and tracking people in my database. Because you're going to put people in the buckets 
and structure and deliberately reach out to people based off of how your tagging system comes into play. So here's what I'm going to tell you. The KBB system is going to give you some tags. It's already going to be there. Right? So you don't have to worry about past clients, buyers, sellers, investors, agents. They're already there. What I'm looking for you to do is personalize your own list and come up with your tags. And the reason I talk to Ford is I want those to be triggers. Right? What family relationships do I have? What occupational relationships do I have? What recreational you know, relationships do I have? And what types of dream relationships do I have? And what does that mean? Places of retirement, right? Where do they want to go? Passions, donations, charities, organizations, right? What are the things that you do that you're involved with that people want to help you with? Fantasy football, right? I dream of winning that. Actually, I see my little trophy back here. It's got Gary on it. I represented Region 12 last year by beating all the regional tech trainers and winning the fantasy football championship last year. Okay? It's a little thing to know about me. I represent us too. All right. So pencil those out. Then, does everybody, I'm going to see thumbs up or thumbs down across the screen. Does everybody have the import form that they need to load contacts into command? Your market center should have provided this to you. If you don't, that's okay. Let me see thumbs up if you've got these now. All right. So inside a command. Okay. On the left hand side. And I want you to do this right now. Every single one of you, if you don't have the import form, I want you to go into command. I want you to go to contacts. I know I'm running two minutes. I will be done in a minute. This is important. I want you to click this import button at the top. Okay, when that pops up, you're going to see a greenish blue word that says download. I want you to click this download. It's going to download a CSV file. Okay, it's best to work inside Excel. If you're an Apple's user, Excel is your friend here because Apple doesn't upload well. Okay, and what you're going to see here is first name, middle name, last. I want you to fill this out tonight. I don't care if you put 10 people on it, 20 people, 50, or 100. Let's start with 10. Put as much information in here as you can. And the first person that should be on there is you. The second four or five people might be your leadership team, your TL, your MCTT, your OP, your ASC, your DFI, right? friends and family. Put their names in here. Put their birth dates in there if you have them. Put their home address in there. It's important. If you don't know what their home address is, look it up or call them and ask, okay? your leadership team put your office address in there. I said that the system provides tags for you already. Here they are. Buyer, seller, bought, sold, agent, KW agent, allied resources, talent, referral, downline. If any one of these apply to the person that you're putting on this list, just drop a Y in there. You don't have to put a no, just put a Y. Okay. We'll come to that tomorrow. And if you're connected with them on social media, you can actually cut and paste their social media profile page. If you go to their Facebook page, you can actually copy their Facebook their page and paste it here because it's gonna to connect to their database. We're gonna get more into this tomorrow, but I want you guys to download this form, add it a minimum of 10 people to this form so that tomorrow, when we start working on contacts, you can import these people. Don't worry about it. Look, some of you are gonna to wanna to jump the shark and start loading things in today, that's fine. If you wait for tomorrow, I'll talk you all through it. We'll go into more details here about the importance of this sheet and doing it right the first time. Okay, but I want that to happen for you guys today. Some examples of where you get your contacts from. Facebook groups and friends lists, right? Christmas card lists. You guys still have those? I've got an Excel form somewhere that my wife created over the years. That's a Christmas card list. I have my wedding invitation list, right? Some of these have been around a long time, have a tickler file or people on the index cards. So the people that should be going into your database. Don't restrict yourself. I find people do this all the time. They go, I don't know, I don't know anybody, I'm new here. And I'll be like, great, how many Facebook friends do you have? 2,500. You know people, you know people all around the world. This is not just for people in your local market because we're the largest referral company in the world. We're gonna talk about that next Thursday. 
anybody that you talk to that needs to know that you're a realtor should be in your database. Okay, so don't limit yourself there. And like I said, add 10, 20, 50, 100 people to that list, okay? And we'll get to those loaded for you starting tomorrow. But I, I need you guys to do the work today, all right? Start with name, cell, email, and address, and a couple of those other things that I mentioned, birthdays, social media links, and yes, or those yes tags if they already apply to some of those people. Because some of you have past clients already, okay? Tomorrow's class, we're gonna go take a dive into contacts. You've all registered. I appreciate you all being here today. I hope you found this helpful, okay? Take advantage of the information that's in chat. I'm gonna send a follow-up email with some of these links so you'll have those too. Um, I don't mind sticking on, around for a couple of minutes for those of you that have questions that may or may not have been answered inside of chat. Those of you that got next appointments, I got you, I understand. So if you have a question, uh, go ahead and raise your hand and then I'll call on you and open up your mic. Sean, I have you at the top of my list. Sean Ashley, no, Sean lowered his hand. Uh, Stephanie Hall, you have a question? Nope. Eva, you have a question? Eva Kelling? Nope. I'm okay, thank you. Well, okay, well your hand's raised, that's why I was just checking. All right, well nobody else has raised their hands or nobody, oh, Perrin, there we go. You're, uh, you're still muted. So if you click on your screen or at the bottom and just unmute yourself. There you go. Just a quick question, but I might be out of uh, uh, subject, I, I guess. Uh, I wanted to see where do I ask my clients to rate me? So that would be a testimonial and we'll get into testimonials when we build out your consumer website next Monday. Okay, thank you. Absolutely, good question. Hey, all questions are good questions, right? That's okay. You don't know what you don't know until you ask. Don't ever be afraid to ask a question. Um, I'm going to try here. Uh, Antonita? Antoinette, yes. Antoinette. Can you show again how to import? Sure. Import. So if, you go, click, if you're inside, are you inside a command? Uh, no, my computer somehow is not working. It's not doing. I have to connect next tomorrow with another computer. Okay. So who's your market center tech trainer? Okay. Uh, who, who is your market center tech trainer? Oh, that's this. Uh, um, Chantilly. Chantilly, so that's Kyle, okay? Yeah. So, you can, so two things, when you log back into command, okay, you can check with the leadership or with Kyle, and plus I'll have this video posted at the end of the day. Go to contacts from inside of command. On the top right-hand side of contacts, the word import will be there. Got it, got it, got it. I the word import and a green blue download yeah. If you click on the download, that Excel spreadsheet will download yeah. for you. I got that now. I Perfect. Got Perfect. Thank you so much. I don't see any other hands raised. So if that's the case, then we are done for today. So do your homework. Be ready to go for tomorrow. And we'll rock it out with contacts, okay? Thank you so much for the training. Absolutely. It was great to meet all of you. So you're all free to go.